Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 27th. So we're just going to see what comes up. You know, the timing is fluid, and this reading is not sign specific. Okay, I'm just going to turn this light on. See what if I can get it to stay on. Interesting. So anyway, let's see what happens. What do we have for a message today? So the King of Cups, somebody looking for love, ready for love, emotionally available. It looks like this person is looking in the cup. Uh, so it's looking at emotional fulfillment, looking for love. We have somebody here that is definitely looking for love. This is somebody that has good intentions. Very feeling, very charming, very romantic, has a really big heart. Four of Pentacles. Chariot. Chariot reversed. Nine of Cups. Page of Pentacles reversed. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles reversed, right next to the Chariot reversed. Uh, Two of Swords reversed. I'm going to zoom this in in a minute. The World. Queen of Swords. Interesting. And the Ten of Swords. So something, we got a problem. We definitely do. We have a problem here. There may be another woman. There may be another woman. There may be. Doesn't have to be, but it looks like we have an ending with the Ten of Swords. This is suffering. It's the end. It's the end of a painful situation. It's the end of suffering with next to the world card. It's the completion of a cycle. So we have a cycle that is completing, which does involve the end of suffering. The Queen of Swords has been doing some sort of investigation. She's well read. Uh, new perspective. She's got a new perspective. She's read something that has changed her perception. So interesting. Uh, seeing clearly. So we definitely have an individual here that is seeing clearly with this Two of Swords reversed. They are... Uh, not in any state of confusion, not in denial, coming out of denial. This is somebody that has uh, read something or came to some sort of conclusion based on uh, something that rings truth. It rings true to them about wish fulfillment. Somebody has read something that has made them realize what happiness is or read something that has changed their perception. There's been some sort of insecurities here with the Queen of Pentacles reversed. This is unrealistic, unstable, insecure, possessive, jealous, uh, lazy, um, not very practical. So something it has somebody hasn't been very practical. They haven't been practical, but now they have a new perspective because they're coming out of denial. They're seeing the truth about happiness, and it's this truth that is being revealed or that they're seeing because a two of swords reverse is revealing the truth seeing the truth so somebody is seeing the truth of a situation where they were blinded you know they were wearing a blindfold before they were choosing not to see the truth or they were blocking their emotions or they were blocking the truth or they were in denial or whatever the case was but now they're coming out of that they're coming out of that denial they're seeing things differently with this queen of swords this has read something or you know, somebody has read something that has really made them think that this, you know, 
I can't do this anymore. This cycle is over. This chapter is over because he's reading a book, which is a chapter, and this is a cycle. It's the end. It's the end of this 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 cycle. It's the end of uh, being unrealistic and unpractical. Okay, impractical, whatever. Um, this is a dead end. The page of pentacles reversed. Not going down this path anymore. Now, the king of cups is an individual that um, looks like this person is looking into the cup, not really looking forward. This person may be focused on themselves. Now, this is very stubborn. The four of pentacles is somebody that is very stubborn. This could be a miser, uh, very somebody that is uh, obsessed with money or possessions or their job or whatever uh maybe this person has good intentions but they're obsessed with their um money okay the four of pentacles um or it could have been this person because you know it's connected right here we have this person that was being unrealistic that was obsessed because this is an obsession right here this is an obsession this person was being unrealistic now they're seeing things differently this is clarity they're 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 and it's like this is the end of of the obsession it's the end you see what's you always gonna see what's mirroring each other it's the end of being uh unrealistic okay because the queen of pentacles in reverse is unrealistic very very stubborn energy right here so we have somebody here that was was up with that was obsessed with holding on but it is the end the end of this obsession okay it's the end of this phase okay it's over it's dead this is a dead end okay it's a dead end it's, it's done it's the end of suffering it's the end of this chapter um, this is somebody following their heart and this could be self-love and this is the ultimate self-love okay I love myself enough I love myself enough to be realistic you know and not put effort into a dead end the king, the knight of pentacles, not the knight, the page of pentacles reversed is a dead end. This is dropping out, okay? It's dropping out. It's um, unhealthy. Uh, I don't want this responsibility anymore. Um, no following through. Not going down that path. Not interested. Um... This is and it's funny because we have the we have the page of pentacles mirroring the two of swords reverse. Now these are both blockages. There's been a blockage standing in the way of success. And the blockage was an obsession. Somebody has been obsessed with holding on to something that really isn't practical. But now they're seeing something differently. Now the chariot reverse is a dead stop. It is, is coming to a, a dead stop. It's, it's coming to a halt. Something is uh, stopping. Now this is an emotional outburst perhaps. Um, unable to master emotions. Unable to control emotions. Out of control. Lack of discipline. Emotions all over the place. Somebody has been very scattered. Uh, scatterbrained okay with this two of swords right here scattered in their mind they've been having a lot of um, unrealistic thoughts okay they've been thinking unrealistically um, and they haven't had a lot of discipline to let go of some sort of obsession um, they may be even getting some sort of professional help okay because the queen of swords can be a professional um, they could somebody could be reaching the point where um, they even collapse I'm not sure what is going on if there's some sort of addiction here this could be an addiction I don't know there's something here but this this is uh, I mean a ten of swords is the death of a situation it is this is a breakdown it's a mental or physical collapse now this could be you know this this is like a catastrophe with the chariot reverse and the ten of swords that could be could be an accident there could be an accident here somebody could be getting in an accident if they're drinking and driving because this is a lot of drinking yeah, you notice there's a lot of drinking here so that you know and that's driving okay 
they could be they could uh, come uh, come up against you know um, somebody that gives them the book <laughs> throws the book at them I don't know I'm just saying uh, somebody could uh, even end up in handcuffs just have to say it somebody could end up in handcuffs there could be an accident there could even something could even result in you know worse just saying um, now this is the end this is a major lesson that is being learned somebody has learned some sort of a lesson or they are about to this is the page of Pentacles reversed is lack of common sense and this one has a drink in their hand you know, I remember said he's looking in the cup, and that is a cup, and it's somebody, it feels like there's drinking and driving here, and I don't know whose message this is, but I'm just telling you that if you're out drinking and driving, I would be damn careful, because there could be an accident, and somebody could get, you know, killed. And you could end up behind bars. Just say it. I mean, I'm just, just, I mean, I just got to tell you what I see. This is a lesson being learned the world card is a lesson being learned and it may have something to do with a vehicle okay this is like a screeching halt not practical unrealistic not grounded uh just saying now i don't know who that's for but there is also uh and, and, well, these are both endings. It's the end of a journey, okay? It is. It is. It, this is this is the end of a journey. This is the end of a journey. And this is, so we have the end of a journey. Something is coming to a halt. It's, it's, it's over. It's over. Somebody is learning a lesson. This is foolish behavior. There's some sort of foolish behavior here. Somebody is acting foolishly. And they're going to lose. This is a loss. The Ten of Swords is a loss. It's a huge loss right next to the world. Somebody is going to be having a huge loss. And there's stubbornness here not putting in effort somebody is and it could be this king of cups i don't know who it is it could be a king of cups it could be anybody and we all take on the king of cups energy this king of cups is not it's like he's hold, he's holding on to his own cup he's not giving it to anybody this is not this is very stubborn not being practical uh not putting in effort going to learn a lesson because they're gonna it's this is over okay this is an ending the ten of swords is a painful ending and maybe it's because this person, you know, the Queen of Swords is uh, very logical, very smart, very intelligent and sees, you know, uh, that this isn't going anywhere. The Chariot Reverse is not going anywhere. This is a dead end. This is uh, whoever they're dealing with is too, I mean, this is a miser, okay? Um egotistical this this right here is this the nine of cups is somebody that is very arrogant uh, you know they are but there is wish fulfillment here because this is a card of wish fulfillment when somebody wakes up and sees the truth which is interesting so the two of swords reversed is um there's a delay exposure truth coming out truth being seen by a very smart, intelligent individual that just knows the truth. Somebody knows the truth, which is interesting. Somebody knows the truth about uh, this Nine of Cups, this individual. You know, this, uh, you know, I feel like that we have somebody here that has a drinking problem as well. And I know I, I bring that up. I just feel like we have a drinking problem here. Anyway, this Nine of Cups is about happiness around the corner there is some sort of happiness to be had but we have an individual that is being emotionally guarded they are guarding themselves and that is and they're not moving forward they're not moving in the right direction they're delays both delays right here somebody is delaying 
their happiness. Somebody is delaying their happiness by not being practical, by being stubborn. There's definitely a lot of stubbornness here. Now the Queen of Swords is somebody that is very intense, very independent. We have a very independent person here who uh, is observing. It looks like she's observing. Very smart, very well read. Doesn't need anybody. This Queen of Swords is just like she suffered, obviously. This Queen of Swords has suffered, has been through a painful experience. But this is a painful experience. This is the Ten of Swords is not surviving. Goodbye. It is goodbye. It's the end. Goodbye. It's over. So somebody may be saying goodbye. Or something could happen and it turns out to be a goodbye. A, a, a painful lesson has been learned. Okay, this is a painful lesson. The world card is a lesson. This is a wholeness. So we do have somebody here that is quite complete. Is quite complete and is completely whole. And it feels like they're giving up. They're giving up on somebody who is very, very stubborn and isn't opening up. This person isn't opening up, so they're giving up. Anyhow, this is the end of a, of a situation. It is. This is giving up. This is the end. It's the end of this phase. It is. It's the, it is. It's the end of this phase. It's the end. Ace of Swords. Now the Ace of Swords is the truth. Communication. Speaking the truth. Saying the truth. Communicating the truth. Knowing the truth. Seeing clearly. And awakening. This is a wake up call. This is a wake up call. Somebody's about to get a wake up call. And this is something being exposed. The Two of Swords can be something being exposed. And it could be from a professional, could be from a lawyer, could be from a police officer, could be from uh, somebody in a position of authority. But whoever who is, it, somebody is exposing some sort of truth as well. They're going to be speaking up. They're going to be speaking their mind, put it that way. And they're going to be speaking in a very factual manner, okay? They're going to be just be, they're just going to say it. They're just going to say, you know what? Here it is. There's going to be regrets. This, this is regrets. There's going to be, somebody is going to be waking up with some regrets. Because you add this nine to this one, it makes a ten, and then we got the ten of swords right here. So they're good. somebody is going to be waking up with some regrets that they delayed, that they wasted too much time. This is feeling guilty, feeling ashamed. Uh, it feels also like somebody could end up behind bars. I don't know who. I don't know why I keep want to say that. You know, somebody could get hurt. There's definitely some regrets here. Regrets over a loss. Somebody's been wasting time, stubbornness, not putting in effort. Now it's over. They may try to communicate, but it's too late. They wasted too much time. It's dead.
This is, oh my God, I can't believe this happened. Oh my God, oh my God. So my advice is, the King of Cups is to, to speak your emotions and express your emotions. Unless you want to wake up with regrets. Good luck. <laughs>